Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Starting Eleven show. Manchester United versus Everton at Old Trafford. Sunday early afternoon kickoff. Start of obviously a very tough run for the Toffees. Let's get into it. In goal, Jordan Pickford, of course. Um, I get the feeling he's going to need to have a very, very good month for Evan. Um, but Evan defensively been excellent in the last few games, no matter what you say about the attack and wise, they've been excellent. So, and Jordan Pickford has been a real part of that. Uh, back four of right back. I know in the last few weeks I've sort of wanted Nathan Patterson in the team, but for this game, Ashley Young, um, I feel like if you are going to put Nathan Patterson in the team, that would be on Wednesday when we need to be a bit more tacking at home but I think Ashley Young's been really good in the last few weeks um, defensively and I think, I think he's also created the most chances as well in the team certainly him and Dwight McNeil have created the most chances so for me he starts at right back and I think going back to his old club listen when, when it gets when we, there's going to be a, a lot of games there might be games he needs to be rested for but this is a lad who, lad, this is a fella who never seems to pick up any injuries and, um, you know, he's, he plays 90 minutes most games. Is that what we want? No, we would like to see Nathan Patton given a chance at some point, but defensively, I think is, this is what we're going to need for this game. At left back, Michalenko, uh, who, let's be honest, we haven't got another left back unless Ashley Young plays at left back. Um, he's not been brilliant this season. Um, the injuries have not got him into the rhythm but he is playing games now and all you can hope for is a bit of an improvement uh, it is a play position that Everton needs to strengthen in but uh, again defensively generally okay but it, again it's the other end uh, the two centre backs are James Talkowski and Jared Branthwaite there'll be a lot of eyes on Jared Branthwaite for this game I imagine um, with obviously all the rumours from the summer and all the rumours that will will happen obviously going forward as well People will be talking about January and at the end of the season, whether it's for Manchester United or Manchester City, maybe. But big game for Jared Brantway to show why he is so important and why you know why the price tag was so high for him. So let's hope those two have a good game. Um, starting to find that consistency. The whole of the back five is starting to find that little bit of consistency. So uh, that's the back five. In midfield, I'm going for uh, Adisagana Gay and Ariel Mangala. I think Mangala should be playing games, and I think a def game like this defensively, I think you have to have that sitter, someone who's just will sit in front of the back four, allow Garner to go and press, uh, and him just keeping the ball. He doesn't waste too many of his passes. He keeps it nice and simple. I think we need that rather than the core just running all over the all over the pitch. The core tends to lose the ball a lot more as well than Mangala. I think that this is a perfect game for him, for him and Garner to just sit in there and protect that back four um, and allowing hopefully the players in front to be a little bit less defensive minded even though we know they won't be they won't be. Um on the right hand side I'm actually going for Dwight McNeil because I, I want to see him coming in on his left foot but I don't want him in the number ten role and I'll I'll explain that in a moment. But I think it's never really been tried him for any particular length of time but him play his crossing from the left doesn't really seem to get us anywhere. We play Harrison on the right to cut in on his left foot. So why aren't we trying that with Dwight McNeil, who's got a much better left foot and can shoot as well? Harrison, when he plays over there, doesn't shoot. Um, Lindstrom, I thought was really... Lindstrom's just such a weird one because he, he, he just can't find any rhythm. And I know it should be a case of maybe leaving him in there, but for a game like this, I just think he's so lightweight. I think the game will pass him by at Old Trafford. So I'm going for McNeil on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, I'm going for Harrison because that is his natural position. And Evan, again, I've never really tried him in that position. You'll get the work rate out of him and you'll get the crosses from him as well. And I'd, I'd rather he was crossing from the left than cutting in on the right and vice versa with Dwight McNeil. So I'm going to go for him on the left-hand side. And in the number 10 role, I'm going for Njai because he is a number 10. But I also think him as a number 10 will link up better with the striker, will play as a second striker. McNeil just doesn't do that. He's, he is that midfielder. I think we've got to be a little bit... We've got to have a threat. We've got to have a threat in this game. And I think Njai playing off the striker is really important. I think that's his natural role, so I'm going for him in the number 10. And up front, I'm going for Dominic Calvin-Lewin. I know 
loads of people want to battle for this game. But I do think that the, we'll spend a lot of this game not having the ball and we'll need that target, man. I actually think Wednesday night could be a good opportunity for Beto at home against Wolves when you need um, a bit of chaos. But I just don't think. I just think for a game like this, if we're playing long balls and it's to Beto, I just can't see him holding onto the ball enough for me. So I'm going to stick it with Dom for this game. I know a lot of people want different, but that to me is um, that's the means the way to go. And having hopefully having Njai playing behind him, linking up with Dominic Calvert-Lewin will help him as well. Gamble on the the knockdowns, the second balls from those long balls, which let's be honest, that's what we're going to play, aren't we? So that's my starting eleven. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree with that team? Let me know. Make sure to check out the match preview with Baz and myself as well. Make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want more great videos, join us over on Toffee TV Premier. The link is in the description and the QR codes come up on the screen now. And for the entire weekend, if you buy anything off the Toffee TV store, you will get 20% automatically off for the Black Friday sale. Thanks for watching. See you later.